Game Game say he spent fifty thousand on VC. You heard that, Swank? Yeah. Fifty thousand on VC last year. Wait. Yeah. Hey. I got the chance to go to the 2K20 lab, you know what I'm saying? Where they, they had all the best 2K players there. And they let us basically get a sneak peek of everything that's going on. The my player, that's the only thing I was really excited about was the my player. So I do go to the park and, and get crazy. So me being able to see this early, I thought I would share with y'all all the benefits, everything new, and, and how y'all gotta make y'all play this year. Boom. First and foremost, right out the gate, there is no more of the archetypes that we are used to. All of that shot creating, playmaker, playmaking, all of that is mixed up. It's totally different. They're giving you way more options, way more creativity, way more ability to do all of this stuff. How they break it down now is a pie chart, you know what I'm saying? And they break it down into four main categories. That's finishing, shooting, playmaking, and they put defense and rebounding all in the same category. So boom, you basically going to choose the pie chart that best fits the way you want to play, the most amount of defense, the most amount of playmaking, whatever the case may be. From there, you get 428 upgrades or, or attribute upgrades to decide what your caps is going to be. Like if you you might you might go to finishing, you might want your driving dunk high, but you want your post hook low. You get to choose that area. Like you ain't have that ability last year. You know what I'm saying? And you get to make it as high as you want or as low as you want, depending on the pie chart you made. Oh, this is the one thing that's real important or that I noticed. The more upgrades you put in one category, the more badges you get for it. So in the playmaking category, they got pass accuracy, ball handle, and post control. You might not want post control on your on your point guard. You might, you might say, I don't need that. But you're going to need to put it up to get all the maximum badges that you want. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get all the badges for playmaking, you got to put your post control up. And that's just how it works. The more attributes you put up for a specific category, the more badges you get for it. After that, after you do your, uh, your, your potential, they take you to your physical profile. Your physical profile is basically like, kind of like your pie chart where you decide if you want your player to be fast with acceleration, if you want to jump high with your vertical, or if you want to be super strong. Like, if you're not making a post player, I don't know how important strength is, you know what I'm saying, unless you're playing in the paint. But uh, so I, t I typically try to make all my players fast as possible, you know what I'm saying, because speed kills. All of those, all of that, the speed, agility, all of that is affected by the weight you make them and, and how tall you make them. And if you make your player tall this year, you're a dub, like it's over. Um, they, they killing everybody that's tall. Your speed go down, your ball handling go down dramatically, your shooting go down dramatically. So I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be a whole bunch of uh, short motherfuckers running around 2K. I feel like um, all the players are gonna be in that 6'10 range. Oh, last year, your small four could be 6'10. They took that out. Small forwards only go to 6'9 this year. Oh, the other thing I like, they let you choose your body type. So if you want your player to be skinny, but you don't want him to weigh 205 pounds, you could you could make him slim build, you can make him diesel, you can make him whatever the fuck you want. You get to choose your own body type this year, that's fire. And with the badges, I'm so happy they did the badges this way. Now you don't gotta shoot 10,000 limitless range shots just to get the limitless range badge. You can, all shooting badges is upgraded by shooting period. All your driving badges is upgraded by driving period. And you get to put them wherever you want. You go to the park, shoot 100 mid-range jumpers, and still put your limitless range badge up. And they wild out, because you can upgrade your badges on the fly. I think he said that uh, at 95, you'll be able to upgrade them whenever you want. But until you get to 95, you can... Uh, Upgrade it whenever you got an upgrade. You could change it. So if you put your your uh, contact finishing on silver, but you like, I don't need the silver. I need the bronze. You could take one away and put that somewhere else. And I think that's OD crazy. Once you're done, once you're done with all of your, uh, with, with building your player and all of that, you then get two other fire things. Before you close out, you get to pick your own takeover. Depending on how you built him, like, they, you'll have two, three, maybe four options to choose from for whatever your takeover is, just depending on what type of hooper you made. And they also tell you who you're similar to. They tell you, like, I bet he played like Vince Carter, James Harden, whoever the case may be, Gordon Hayward, whatever the fuck you make. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you who you play like, tell you what to expect out of this player, so don't build them 
thinking you're gonna be this and you really compare to that. But the most hands down best thing that they put in 2K this year, the best overall thing I'm most excited about is you don't gotta waste no more VC. Before you finish making your player, you get to test them out. You get to take them into the lab, you get to test them, you get to put them all the way to 99, see what badges he gonna get, see what level they get to. You don't gotta guess. You get to save all that bread. Me personally, I done spent over a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred on VC last year. Don't tell nobody else. But on God, I spent I spent at least that game. Game say he spent fifty thousand on VC. You heard that right? Yeah. Fifty thousand on VC last year. Wait, fifty thousand American dollars? American US currency on VC. He buys his niggas VC too. He oh, said okay. some of the niggas he play with don't be having like that. So okay. fuck out of here, nigga. You better grind, nigga.